got a powerful enemy there, gentlemen. That Barnes is real gung-ho in this case. Yeah, I knew it. I knew it. That man just won't quit. An old derelict's body is found on South Fork, and he's gonna make it look like the biggest case since Bonnie and Clyde. Who was it they found, Sheriff? Do you know? His name is Hutch McKinney. Do you remember him? Yeah, he worked for me. Well, I won't bother you anymore now. I just thought y'all ought to know about it. Thank you, Vedden. Yes, sir. Yeah. Yeah. Ray. Uh, what's up, Ray? You know that investigator from the DA's office has been going over my land with a metal detector? Yeah, what about him? Well, he just found a real old 38 caliber service revolver. It's buried not 20 yards from where he found a body. You get a good look at it? Yeah. The investigator said it was an 1892 Colt six shot service revolver. Double action. Well, I, uh, I think maybe you boys better see if you can call in a few markers and get Cliff Barnes off this investigation. Because if Ray's right, it was my gun, all right. Sorry, Jock. I gotta read you your rights. What the hell are you talking about, Fenton? I have to arrest you in connection with the murder of one Hutchinson McKinney. You have the right to remain silent. If you give up the right to remain silent, anything you say can and will be used against you in a court of law. You have the right to speak with an attorney and to have that attorney present during question. If you so desire and cannot afford one, an attorney will be appointed for you without charge or question. A murder charge. It's inconceivable. It's something Cliff Barnes pulled out of thin air to make trouble. Nobody's going to convict Daddy. What kind of evidence do they have to make an arrest? Cliff Barnes can't have that kind of power. He must have convinced someone higher up. Well, we won't know anything until Scotty Demarest gets here anyway. Well, if you need Scotty Demarest to defend you, I'm worried. He's the best, Mama. We can afford the best. That's why we got him, Mama. Pam. I'm so sorry, Jock. Well, you can be proud of your brother today. Shut up, J.R. Digger's so sick. What's wrong with Cliff? What can he be thinking? I don't know, but I intend to find out. Honey, I'm sorry about Digger, but right now I'm more concerned with what Cliff is doing to my daddy. Bobby, I can't stand it if you and Cliff are at each other's throat. I don't want you to interfere. 